Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about Linux memory analysis using volatility and specifically about building Linux profiles for volatility. Uh, this process, it's not very difficult, but um, if you don't, if you don't do it, then you might have trouble. Well, you, you are very likely to have trouble using volatility to analyze uh, a Linux memory dump. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually collect a, uh, a dump of memory from my own system running Ubuntu Linux, um, and I'm using uh, Lime to down or to uh, acquire a memory image. So Lime, uh, I need to first build Lime. So whenever you look into the the Lime folder, you should see something something like this. Um, and basically, what this does is Lime is a kernel object that we load into. Um, uh, a Linux system and download um, it gets access to memory we can download memory uh, using Lime so the first thing we have to do is actually make it or build it for um, the suspect system so the the issue with Lime or the difficulty with Lime and especially on Linux systems is that you have to build for the exact system that you're going to use it on so if the suspect system is a, um, a, a Ubuntu desktop using a very old kernel version and you want to use Lime, you have to build Lime for that specific kernel version. Um, so you need to do a little bit of research on the suspect device. What kernel is it running? And you have to compile specifically for that. I'm just going to compile for um, my system directly, which is using the 4.4053 generic kernel right now. Um, so if you're compiling on the suspect system or on the device that you're looking at, um, it's it's much easier to compile, but obviously it's going to make a lot of changes to the system, especially to RAM. And since we are wanting to acquire memory in this case, we don't want to make those changes to memory. Okay, so now that I have um, the, the kernel object, I can see this .ko, I have the kernel object, and if I load that into um, the system, then I should download um, uh, the device. So I need to, or memory. So whenever I, I need to run this command to load it, sudo insmod or insert mod, and then the lime uh, kernel object, the full, in this case, the full name. Um, and then I have to give it the command path. And this is the path where I want to save it to. So I'm going to save it to a different disk. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to name it linux.mim, okay? And then next, I wanted to give the format equals lime. And I had issues earlier. Let me see if I can, I can bring that up. Um, I had issues earlier whenever I was trying to use volatility to, um, um, to analyze a raw memory image from my system. I kept getting this no suitable address space mapping found error, but whenever it's a Lime um, uh, formatted image, uh, I don't get, let's say, as many errors. I don't get that specific error. So in this case, I'm going to collect it with Lime uh, as the format Lime because um, I know that volatility can use Lime. So while that's uh, acquiring, um, I will skip ahead. Okay, so now that that's finished, I have my my memory image in Media Joshua Storage test linux.mim. Um, so the next I'm going to go into uh, where I have volatility downloaded. So I have the volatility um, uh, git repository basically downloaded. And what I need to do is go into uh, tools and Linux. We're going to build a Linux profile based on my system. So tools Linux and then do ls. And I want to make clean because I've already had it in there. So make clean. And then you should basically have a make file. So what you need to do is download or uh, install. Uh, if you're on Ubuntu, you can do sudo apt install dwarf dump, dwarf dump, or um, the, uh, what was it? Apt uh, lib dwarf tools. So basically you can either download dwarf dump or libdwarf tools. I already have um, uh, dwarf dump installed, sudo app install dwarf dump. 
Okay, it's already at the newest version. Okay, that looks good. And then the next thing we need to make sure we have, I'm sure you already have it if you've ever if you've ever worked on this before, but uh, we need to install build essential in Ubuntu. So sudo apt install build essential. And this is basically uh, compiling tools, tools to be able to compile software. And then um, we might also need to get um, Linux headers. Um, so for in Ubuntu, we can do sudo apt install Linux headers generic or whatever whatever headers we actually have. So this actually downloaded uh, 40077, but I'm pretty sure we don't need uh, headers in this case, okay? Um, so once we have that, then we want to just run make. Notice it's building for 44053 generic. Okay, that looks good. And then we have this module.dwarf should be created. Okay, once the module dwarf is created, then we want to run, um, we need to check and see if we have, um, so we need this system map at, for the kernel version that we have. So system map 44053 generic in this case, because this particular computer is running that particular um, uh, kernel version. So once we know where the system map is, which is usually in slash, if you do ls slash boot, you should see all of the available kernels and um, we're specifically looking for the system map, then uh, run uh, sudo zip um, and then we want let's say volatility where am I at oh sorry um, instead of being inside the tools Linux folder go up uh, to two directories two folders and then do uh, sudo zip volatility um, plugins uh, overlays Linux and then we want to save it as Ubuntu Ubuntu and this is 1404 and I'm gonna call it 440.zip okay so Ubuntu uh, 1404 440.zip the reason I call it 440 is because that's the particular kernel version and um, there's already a Ubuntu 14.04 uh, available, um, but I think it's for a uh, the kernel version 3. So I'm going to call it 4.4.0 just to kind of differentiate and make sure that I, I know the difference between the different plugins. We're essentially creating the plugin right now. Then do tools uh, Linux module dot dwarf, and that's our dwarf file that we created. Um, and then we want to add boot uh, system system map for uh, our particular kernel okay if you do that then we get adding tools linux module dwarf and adding uh, adding boot system map uh, 44053 so now we have a module uh, volatility module created specifically for um, ubuntu linux kernel version 440-53 generic Okay, now will this work on other uh, Linux platforms? Probably not, right? You have to make it specifically for the kernel version of the suspect system that we're analyzing. Okay, then uh, the next thing I want to do is Python, make sure it's actually installed. So python.py dash dash info, and then I want to grep, grep for Linux with a capital L. So here I have python uh, vol.py, this is running volatility, and I'm getting the info out, the information uh, for, uh, for volatility. And then grep is just a search, like a keyword search. Just show me everything that contains the word Linux, okay? So if I hit enter, then we see uh, this Linux, Linux Ubuntu one is one that I created before. Um, and then we have the one that we just created, Linux Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, 440x64, and this is the one that we just created. So this is now our profile name, Linux Ubuntu 1404-440x64. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. And then uh, what we need to do now is figure out some commands that uh, this version of, of uh, volatility includes. So I'm going to do python uh, vol.py dash dash info and then grep for grep 
dash I uh, and Linux with a capital L or a lowercase L and then underscore. So what this does is again, looking at the information for for uh, volatility as it, as whatever plugins or uh, profiles are available, show them to me. And then I'm using grep to search in a not, ca not case sensitive way for anything called Linux underscore. And what that should show me is all of the different commands that um, are the plugins that are available for Linux. And we have a lot of them in here. Um, so you can go through and check whatever you want to check. I'm going to run um, PS scan because that usually works, right? So some of these will not work just because um, volatility ha does not have uh, the correct parser for our, the version of our kernel, even though we basically say, you know, uh, what the what the data structures are in memory by creating our profile. That doesn't mean that all of the parsers that have been written actually work for our version of the kernel. OK, so just because we've created a profile doesn't mean that all of these things will work, but PS scan usually does work. So I'm going to now run Python vol dot pi. Um, and then the file is media Joshua storage test uh, Linux dot mem. And this is our uh, lime formatted uh, memory image from this Linux uh, system. Uh, and then the profile, prof dash dash profile equals, and then paste our new profile that we created. And then I want to run Linux PS scan. Linux PS scan. Okay, and there we go. We're getting uh, the, basically a process list. So all of the processes, processes that are working, uh, running in the system and then uh, their process ID. So this is actually parsing out or we're scanning through. Um, now, uh, let's go up if I look again. So the thing about this is whenever I create um, uh, uh, plugins or profiles for the newest kernel versions, then a lot of things don't work or I can't get them to work. Um, so it really depends on, um, let's, let's just try CPU info, for example. I kind of doubt it's going to work. Yeah. CPU info, okay. So running CPU info against it and Oh, okay, so it actually did find the CPUs at least, but it didn't see um, if it, it saw how many we have but it didn't see like vendor or model, right? So what that most likely means is um, that for version 4.40 of the Linux kernel, um, most of these parsers need to be updated and, and told what's going on. If we look at the uh, uh, volatility website, we can see that the newest version uh, of Linux kernels that it supports is 32 and 64 bit Linux kernels up to 423, right? So that means that up to 423, um, these uh, plugins likely work pretty well, right? But uh, up, we just created a profile for 4.4, so now we have to go through and potentially manually update um, a lot of these, these profiles. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.